Hello guys and gals, welcome to one of how to smartphones tutorial videos on the Samsung Galaxy S8. If you'd like to see more tips, tricks and tutorials on the Galaxy S8, check out that Samsung Galaxy S8 playlist in the description below. So in this video I'll be showing you guys how to add and remove a different language keyboard on the Samsung Galaxy S8. And for those of you that are not quite sure uh, what I'm talking about, I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate here real quick. I'm going to go in here into my Chrome. And then in my Google browser, I'm going to select it. As we can see, uh, English is set by default on my phone. Um, if you swipe right or left, it doesn't matter. Just hit in the space bar. There are no other languages added. And there are no other uh, icons indicating a different language has been set up. So if you wanted a keyboard of a different language, what you're going to want to do is start off on the home screen. Um, I slide up and get into my settings tab which is right there. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and slide down till I see language and input. And once I'm there, there are several different tabs here. There's the language set as English, the default keyboard, and the two different, and then mine has two different keyboards that are currently set up, the virtual keyboard and the physical keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and select virtual keyboard. And here, as you can see, the Samsung keyboard I'm going to go ahead and select that. That was the one I'm using. And the very first uh, option is language, languages and types. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And here it says manage input languages. We're going to go ahead and select that option. And here it gives a, a whole list of different uh, languages that we can add. So it just does have a bunch of them. If it doesn't have one of the language that, languages that you're looking for, what you can do is select up here and check for updates. See if they did it did an update and added a language. Um, but if it's not there, chances are that they don't have it. So I'm just going to go ahead and select a language. I'm going to go ahead and select that one. That's not one of them that were already pre-downloaded. So it's going to take a little bit of time and it's going to download the language and it's going to send it up to the top uh, where all the other languages, the pre-downloaded languages were. So just like that, it downloaded that language. I'm going to go ahead and slide up here. And as we could see, it did bring it to the top that are, are the ones of the languages that were already downloaded. I did bring it up and it did select it. So now that it's selected, I'm just going to go ahead, go ahead and hit the home button. I'm going to go back into my Chrome browser. I'm going to select that keyboard. And as we could see, that did change just ever so slightly. Uh, it has the English uh, with the little arrows on the side indicating that you can swipe right and as we could see I did I swiped you can swipe right or left I swiped right and it did give me the keyboard of this language so let's say that somehow you set the language or you'd set it previously and you no longer need it or want it uh, to get rid of it is the same way just go into your settings uh, slide down till you find the language and input and once you are here go ahead back into the virtual keyboard back to the Samsung keyboard or whatever uh, keyboard you're using at the time and select the languages and types and it's, and here you guys can see that I, I have the two I'm gonna go ahead and select manage and you deselect it just like that and it says languages are up to date so I'm gonna go out of here and show you guys that it did remove that second language as you can see the arrows did disappear so if I were to slide any of the directions uh, it just stays on the one language that you have set so that is how you add and remove a language on the keyboard on the Samsung Galaxy S8 if you guys found this video helpful go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you know somebody who is struggling with this and needs some help go ahead send them a link I'll let them know that there is some help if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, go ahead and drop them in the comments section below. If you guys have any feedback, I also welcome hearing any of that. So that's all I got for you guys in this one. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.